Hello everybody and welcome back to the part of the day where I pull these orders and if you can tell by the sheet we have a lot of orders which is not the normal for the weekend so I am very happy about this. Um, also quick update I am only one bag behind uh, my photographer in listing so let me show you what that means. It really means that I have to get all of these bags put away. Uh, this is a little absurd. <laughs> what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Another one downstairs equals twelve. So I have twelve bags of inventory to put away. Um, I keep saying maybe this will be the week, but it seems like my weeks are getting busier. I don't know if people are getting any sort of tax refund and maybe they're buying. Um, I do have a couple best offers. A lot of these are full price. Wait till you see this Etsy sale. Um, pretty crazy. It is a commission sale, so my sister's going to be really happy about that. But yeah, 12 bags I need to put away. Maybe this upcoming week we'll get it done. I think I have a day off on my regular job, so maybe that'll be when I do that. Um, but anyway, these are the weekend orders. Let's go ahead and pull them down. All right, first up is going to be some Callens hooks. This is a retail arbitrage item. Um, I think it's my last retail arbitrage item from Walmart FG. It's going to be this box here. I'm not even going to have you guys look through this with me because this is these two boxes are super jam packed and these things are itty bitty. They were kind of close to the top. They're these here. They're googly eyes or Google eye jigs for fishing. Um, they are my last one. So done with that. I think I picked these up for right around a quarter or 99 cents and took the best offer because like I said, they were the last one of $5. I think I was getting right around 10 for these last year. Next up, don't have far to go. It's going to be shoes. I can already see it. It's this pair here. Um, these sold on a best offer for $35. They were sitting for a little bit of time, probably almost a year. They are called, the name is so weird. I've never heard of it. I don't know if anyone's ever heard of it, which might be why they hadn't sold their cute boots. But the brand is Chinese Laundry. I don't know if you can see it in there. Chinese Laundry. Cute boots, though. They were, like, brand new. Um, I think these may have came one of, out of my first Goodwill Blue Boxes that I got from Shoes. And one more. There we go. Got to start opening some shoe boxes. Next in box B, or bag B41, <laughs> is going to be a Boyd's Inesco Bunny. Sold full price. I just listed it. Um, $25.95 plus shipping. It's in one of these. But which one? So this one over here by the giraffe. This came out of a Goodwill Blue Box. You may have seen me unbox it. If you haven't, you should go check out my Goodwill Blue Box unboxings. But he was new with tags. Where's that tag? There it is. Boyd's by Inesco. Full price just before Easter. Well, whole month before Easter. But that sold for $25.95. Next is some McDonald's foods. Haven't sold that in a while. Box Y. Right here. <laughs> um, this is a lot of nine. You'll see that little eight there. So it should have a little ticket inside of its baggie. Um, actually, my friend Sam does that. If I give her a lot of stuff that are very similar, she'll put little tickets inside that have a number on them so I know which one it is. But that sold for $20 on a best offer. Let's pull that out of here. I make a ton of extra room, but it is right here. Let's go ahead and get all this pushed in here. This little box goes in here too. Oh, well, maybe it did make some room. I'm just pushing better. So that box normally sits way out. But here is this. It is a lot of nine. Here's a little ticket I was talking about. It does have a number eight on the other side, just to verify that it went to the right one. These are some McDonald's food robot transformers. As you can tell, that one didn't clean up too well, um, but still sold on a best offer for, what did I say? 20 bucks. Okay, next is an interesting one. It is um, a hexagon foam board in box 18. So like these three bins here, bins, um, boxes are things I got from the bins. So I picked this up on $5 day. Usually I was going to keep it for myself, which is why I paid the $5 for it. Did I say box 18? I did. Um, it's really, I shouldn't have picked it up for $5 if I planned on selling it because it's kind of bulky, kind of heavy. Where is it? Maybe it didn't make it to box 18. Hold on. 
under this and some other stuff in there so made a bunch of room here it is like i said i picked this up on five dollars day for myself decided i didn't want to spend the work hanging it up it's these little hexagon foam pieces and i had it listed for 19.99 um pretty competitive with the amazon listing on ebay i think it comes with some tax in there yeah right here and this little notepad this is actually an international order so this person who wanted it paid a total of 53 dollars for these tiles uh like i said they paid 19.95 plus um this is going so i i offer the what is it the gsp through ebay but i also offer usps um first class international and priority so they chose first class if you're shipping first class ooh, almost lost you uh, if you're shipping first class international, you can ship up to four pounds at the first class rate. So that's what this is. So they paid $25 for shipping and $20 for the actual foam board. So pretty good deal. That's all we got for, for eBay. We are now moving on to Etsy. We have some metal cookie cutters. Actually, I had a similar set growing up. I think they're right here on top. It is these. Um, these actually sell quite well. If you ever see these cookie cutters with like the slim candles. Um, I didn't have the biscuit cutter though, or the Santa Croix up. I had like the, like the poker kind of set with the spade and club and things like that. But it came in the lot that we picked up for just a couple bucks at the auction. So we have definitely been in the profit now for a while. And we are most definitely in the profit now if we weren't before, which we were. Um, those sold for $15.95 plus shipping on Etsy. Recommend selling all your vintage things on Etsy. And now for the big Etsy order in box five. So over here. This is my commission order. It is a Sweet Secrets. Um, I think it's by Bluebird Toys. Sold for $109.95 full price. I'm so glad this didn't sell on eBay because I think I would have been very worried about a return. Uh, let's see here. In this box. Where is it? I think it was off to the side. It is. It's right here. It is still brand new in its packaging. So the reason this is a commission is this was my sister's. Um, it does have a little bit of box damage that is notated in the photos in the listing. But yeah, if you ever see, oh yeah, I was right, blue box toys. Some people that made some of the Polly Pockets. If you ever see these open, they're not worth this much. Maybe $20 to $30, sometimes a little more than that. If they are new in the package, please do not hesitate to pick them up. This did take a couple months to sell. Um, please list it on Etsy if you list it. But, uh, yeah, $109.95. That's so crazy. So for right now, we're going to skip over the Macari order and switch over to Facebook because the Macari order is still on the bookshelf in the other room. But we have a Facebook dongle that's sold on Facebook. So it's in B30, which I've come to know is exactly in this spot because I haven't bagged it up yet or boxed up yet. It's this rock band dongle. This was obviously a free item from my mother because almost everything in this bag that's electronic is from my mother. But this sold for $60 plus shipping. I do get a little worried selling expensive items on Facebook, but inevitably you're going to get a chargeback or a scam case anywhere. So I know I'm worried. I wasn't worried about Etsy and the sweet secrets, but Typically, there's I haven't had too many scam buyers on Etsy, and I haven't had actually any on Facebook. I might have had one who switched out a salt and pepper shaker, which that's just a sad kind of life. I most definitely need to get these bags put away. Next week, this has to be a priority because I have even these bags behind me. Look at this. This is too much. <laughs> too much work. Send help. The reason we're in here is because uh, there is something on this bookshelf over here that has sold. I need to get this bookshelf moved over there so that way I can stop having to climb in here because there's too many bags on the floor. <laughs> Plus, this is where my shipping supplies are, which reminds me I need to order bubble wrap. Don't let me forget that. Um, the book over here is a 1977. It's a little tiny manual. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it this way. Um... No, I would have never found it this way because it's on this deck up here. <laughs> All right, so it's this 1977 Ford truck, bunch of number series. This sold for $22 on Macari, and usually I don't list my manuals on Macari because they're super bulky and heavy. The only reason this one got listed, and I think a couple other listed, 
is because it's super lightweight so it's going to go first class so the first class is right around the same price for this as medium mail would have been so i throw up the lightweight manuals over on makari sometimes and this sold i'm actually shocked because typically my manuals sell on ebay and facebook all right everybody that's it for the weekend sales so oh, i'm so bouncing that's it for the weekend sales. I did have another order on Macari. It was actually for one of my quilted blankets. Um, they bought it on Friday and by Sunday they had canceled. Also, if the mic's better now, I'm really sorry. I've been having an issue with my mic that's attached to my phone. I may end up having to get a wireless one to clip on. Um, so sorry if this video's uh, uh, sound is not so great. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh,